we can share common benefits. At the time they formed government in 2021, Zambia was facing one of its worst economic crises, brought about by the increasing huge unsustainable debt. On 13 November 2020, Zambia became the first African country in the COVID-19 era to default on its eurobond. With this, government missed a coupon payment of about 42 million US dollars on its 2024 eurobond. This was disastrous for the country's economic recovery plan and portfolio. When the UPND government came in, uh, the, the, the Zambian the, the Zambian economy had defaulted on its on its loans, so <clears throat> the, we were in a bad place. But the question is, how has President Haga in the Ichilema's administration fared in managing the country's debt issue three years down the line? With regards to resolving the debt, I think I'd I'd be I'd say eight, eight out of ten. The challenge was that um, no one really knew exactly um, how to resolve the matter. Edward Mamulima feels the UPND policies to manage Zambia's day situation are good. Zambia is now has a better perception, especially for foreign investors. But then, of course, now we need to create incentives for the local investors as well. And economic experts such as Aaron Sikombe agree. We are on a trajectory where we we were at uh, in the negatives, but now we're we're not only just paying back our debt, but we're also um, managing our debt quite well, managing our economy in the midst of paying debt. So I think I would give, um, in terms of debt sustainability and debt management, I'd, I'd give them a fairly good score. Teva Rex Eka, ZNBC News, Gateway.